What is going on, you guys? Jemmy Inflatable Fans 98 on the Jemmy Master Animatronics. And I got a really cool review for you guys today. This is a review over the Seasonal Visions 2017 animated fortune teller sold at Target this year. Um, I actually ended up getting this just the other day, luckily. Um, I thought I heard at one point that they were selling, they were, they were sold out online. Um, and I didn't think that they were going to be sold in stores, and they weren't at my store or the other Target around me, um, the other nearest Target. Um, but I actually went on a kind of a road trip this week to kind of see what else I could find at different stores um, in like a, another state um, that's not too far away from me. Uh, but luckily, I went into a Target. I saw a Target there. I went in there, see what they had left, and I couldn't believe it. I found this guy in there, and I ended up getting it for like thirty one ninety five. Um, with tax because it was 75% uh, off, which was great. Um, I really wanted this as soon as I saw it, um, you know, because I have a Zoltan. I haven't done a review on it, but I have a Zoltan, and uh, I love the Zoltan. I just thought this would be a really cool thing to get, and I got it, and I'm really happy I did. Um, I mean, this thing, I mean, compared to Zoltan, this thing is huge. I mean, the box for it is like waist level with me, a little, little shorter, but it's a huge box. Um, compared to Zoltan's box, and same with the uh, fortune teller itself, it's way bigger than Zoltan. Um, well, not way bigger, but you know, it's at least a foot taller and maybe a few inches wider than Zoltan. Not maybe not a foot taller, about that, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it, it's it's definitely bigger significantly um, than Zoltan. Um, but like I said, the box in this is huge, and it was a heavy box, and I kind of had to. And it was at, this Target was actually inside of a mall, so I kind of had to carry it around through the mall, um, and it was kind of embarrassing. Um, but I honestly was so glad I got this. I also got something else at that Target that I'll do in, in a later review, um, but for now I'm doing this guy. Um, there also was a store display. At first I saw the store display and I was really happy. The store display I thought looked broken, but I realized it probably wasn't broken. It was just turned off when it was in the middle of an activation. Um, and I didn't get that. I saw the one brand new in the box right next to it. I was like, oh, wow, I got to get this, you know. Um, and I was glad there was one brand new in the box. Otherwise, I probably would have stuck with the store display. I would have bought in it either way. Um, but I'm glad I found one brand new. Um, but, uh, yeah, this thing is really cool. Um, it is motion activated, and I'll explain what it does. Basically, um, when you have it plugged in, it will, um, when you walk by it, it will you know, go off and it'll ask you to ask it a question and then there's a button here um, that you press the button and it's supposed to answer your question. It's really, really cool. Um, and then it's got volume control over here. The speaker is extremely loud on it, by the way, um, and the video probably won't do its justice, but here is the volume control and when it's up all the way, it is extremely loud. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll plug it in here and I'll show you guys what it does. I mean, the first time I turned this on, I'm not going to walk by it yet, but the first time I turned this on, uh, it scared the crap out of me because it's like, it's literally so loud and it does it like right when you walk by it. So this is a good thing that'll scare people when they walk by if you put it out for Halloween. Um, that's what I'm really excited about. So anyway. I have the answers you seek. Ask a question, then hit the button. As you can tell, like I said, the video probably doesn't do us justice, but it is extremely loud and I really like... The uh, crystal ball there kind of just glows um, after. It turns off after a little a few seconds, but it's pretty Hello. cool. I didn't mean to start on you. Ask a question, then hit the button. So, I'll show you right here. Press the button here, and the head goes down on it. Ask and, again later. And it'll, you know, basically it'll, it's supposed to give you an answer to the question. It's really cool. Hello. I didn't mean to start. I'm not sure exactly how many phrases it has, you know, before you hit the button, um, because it kind of cycles through them randomly. So, like, you know, that was the same question it asked before on the second activation for the third one. So, I'm not sure where the motion sensor is on this, but. And I'm not sure how many um, answers it has here. You better ask another question. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why it cut out after that one. So yeah, it's just got a bunch of phrases on it. Hello, friend. 
I don't want to keep it. It's kind of hard to even get to it. So it's just got a bunch of weird answers. It says yes, no, uh, ask again. Just some random uh, um, <clears throat> answers to the questions. But uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. I really like it. I'm really glad I was able to get it. Like I said, I didn't know if they were uh, if they're going to be sold in stores because I heard, you know, before they're or at least my store gets their stuff out really late. Um, but I heard from multiple people that they sold out online because I think they sell their stuff online. Um, so I was thinking, you know, all oh, these probably aren't going to be in the stores. But luckily enough, um, I was able to get one at this certain store I was telling you about. And uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, guys, Jemmy Inflatable Fans 98 on the Jemmy Master Animatronics. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video.